Hello everyone, I'm George Taylor from Imagine Earning. Let's check out Fun Spot USA in Kissimmee. The Fun Spot USA amusement parks have had an interesting history that dates well back to a 1979 park near Wet n Wild in International Drive. Since then, there have been multiple owners in a few locations outside of the Orlando area. For this video, I'm going to focus on the Fun Spot at Kissimmee. I visited Fun Spot Orlando twice, usually during IAPA to ride the VR coaster and the amazing White Lightning coaster, but I've never visited Fun Spot Kissimmee. Since they've debuted a new coaster from Gravity Group called Mind Blower, I knew that I needed to check out the coaster and the park. Fun Spot Kissimmee has 22 rides and 3 coasters. You can buy a wristband that lets you ride everything, or you can pay for each attraction separately. At the time of the video, the wristband was $45 at the gate and $40 online. And for instance, a ride on Mind Blower or the go-karts is $9 per ride. So as long as you ride at least 5 things, well, then, you know, you've paid for the wristband. Let's check out the park. First up for me was the Rockstar Spinning Coaster. This spinning wild mouse was moved from Cypress Gardens when it became Legoland. This was my 121st coaster credit. It's a traditional spinning mouse coaster, sort of like Primeval World at Animal Kingdom. Teens are really going to love this one. Mind Blower was the main reason to visit Fun Spot Kissimmee. It's a Gravity Group coaster and is only one of three wooden coasters in the entire state of Florida. The lift hill is 82 feet tall and it reaches a top speed of 48.5 miles per hour. It includes a surprising 360 degree barrel roll inversion and it's the very first inverting wooden coaster in the southeast. I've heard mixed reviews about the coaster, but I did take two successive rides and I really enjoyed it. The inversion comes at you quickly and it's a neat experience on a wooden coaster. I've ridden Ravine Flyer 2 and Lightning Rod, which take you completely sideways, but not a wooden coaster with a complete inversion. It had a great mix between a traditional wooden coaster and a hybrid. It was rattly in some parts and had some great airtime pops on others. I would have liked more airtime, but Gravity Group is more well known for tight turns and keeping you glued to your seat. They pack a lot of power and their coasters are very exhilarating. It's definitely worth a visit to experience Mind Blower. After the Mind Blower trips, I headed around the lagoon to check out the racing carts. The Fun Spot brand is well known for its innovative cart tracks and these two were no exceptions. Vortex takes you up 40 feet on a tight spiral track that really reminded me of a parking garage and then you take a surprising dip and you have some great banked turns. It is very exhilarating. Chaos is a fun multi-level track that's great for competing with a group of friends. I was really surprised at how much I enjoyed the go-kart tracks. The rest of the rides in the park are flat rides that are good for all ages, but will appeal to very young kids and tweens the most. It's a fun selection of rides that help balance out the cost of the wristband. <laughs> Sadly, I didn't get to ride the kiddie coaster. I'm not even sure I would have fit in the coaster car. The Fun Spot Arcade offers a good selection of arcade and ticket games. The restaurant serves pizzas, hot dogs, nachos, and snacks. It's a great place to recharge before tackling the carts or mind blower again. The park is great as an add-on for a vacation, especially if you've got a variety of ages in your group. For instance, if a grandparent is taking the grandkids, 
they can just buy a wristband for the kids and they don't have to pay admission or buy a ride ticket if they just want to watch. There are also a good assortment of rides for every age level. And it's also a great park if you only have a few hours to spend, like you know, right before a plane flight or the day before you head back home. I will say that the employees at Fun Spot have been some of the nicest and friendliest around. They always seem happy to be there and enjoy interacting with all of the guests. Thanks so much for checking out this video all about Fun Spot Kissimmee. Have you visited a Fun Spot or ridden Mind Blower? What are your thoughts about the park? Leave me a comment, I'd love to hear. I'm George Taylor from Imagine Nerding, and I can't wait to see you in the parks.